Dr. Miller. I'm so sorry to barge in on you this way. I hope it's not too much of an imposition. <laughs> it's all right, Fran. Even though it's not your regular appointment, being drilled by needles feels oddly similar. <laughs> now, where was I? Your father disapproves of you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thank you, Ken. You know what, Fran? I'd like to run a Rorschach test on you. Rorschach from Welcome Back, Carter? <laughs> Would you pick up one of those ink blot cards there and tell me what you see? Oh, yeah, you mean this black schmear? Well, I don't know. I guess I see a uh, gorgeous, off-the-shoulder Vera Wang white wedding dress. You, you see a white wedding dress in that black ink? Yeah, uh-huh. You know, this is the negatives. The proofs haven't come in yet. Fran, don't you see the connection here? You come in with a crisis about your father and you jump right to marriage. Wait a minute, are you saying that I want to be married to my father? Because if that is buried in my subconscious, let's just build a Home Depot over it and move on. I am saying that marriage is the ultimate expression of acceptance and love. That's what you want from your father, and that's why you keep seeking out men like him. So you mean I seek out distant and repressed men that keep me at arm's length? Who? Mr. Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> My God, I have been chasing after men that reject me just like my father my whole life. Oh, Dr. Miller, you're a genius. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Mr. Sheffield, I just came from a therapy session and we've got a talk. Miss Fine, you've been talking for a solid hour. Aren't you talked out? Oh, that's a silly question. <laughs> All right, Miss Fine, what's on your mind? Well, first of all, don't you think that it's a little strange that we've known each other for five years and you're still calling me Miss Fine? Well, Niles calls you Miss Fine. That's different. He's the butler. I get a charge out of that. <laughs> you call me Miss Fine to keep me at arm's length. Now, no, hold it right there. That's not true. People's Exhibit A. <laughs> Do you know what I've discovered? You are exactly like my father. Oh, that's absurd. No. I've never met your father. Please. No one has. I'm not even sure he bloody well exists. Well, he does. And I have been chasing after his love my entire life. Do you know that he is at the root of every doomed relationship I've ever had? I'm completely screwed up. <laughs> case. And there's only one way for me to achieve any kind of mental health. You have got to change, mister. <laughs>